And welcome back to another UNC Tar Heels football recruiting podcast here on TarHeelIllustrated.com. And if you are watching us on our growing YouTube channel, Tar Heel Illustrated, I'm THI publisher Andrew Jones. And joining me, as she always does when we talk Carolina football recruiting, our director of football recruiting, Miss Dina King. And Dina, big day for the Tar Heels. Only it could be a small class in 2022. So whenever there's a commitment, it's always big, no matter how big the class is. Or the class is going to be this small. It's huge news, and we ha- do have huge news to talk about. Randy Deuce Caldwell, a three-star, listed as a safety, but being recruited by Carolina as a linebacker, who attends Malden High School in Malden, South Carolina. He has announced he will play for the Tar Heels, six foot one, two hundred fifteen pounds. Chose Carolina over Ole Miss, West Virginia, Baylor, Arkansas, Central Florida, and others. Uh, he's got about nine power five offers, I believe. He's one of these kids where fans may fixate on rankings, but the staff, they see something, they know what they want, they go for it. Uh, By the way, he's the number 10 overall prospect in the state of uh, South Carolina for the class of 2022. So you and I have talked about uh, Deuce Caldwell for a while. You wrote about him in May. You've written about him some in June. I think you wrote about him in April as well. So what can you tell Carolina fans about Deuce Caldwell? Like like you said, Malden, South Carolina, he's teammates with another uh, big-time target that Carolina's trying to get to Chapel Hill, uh, uh, cornerback Jaden Lucas, who is an extremely uh, elite kid that uh, every program in the country would love to have. He's teammates with him uh, right there in Clemson's backyard in the in the in that area. So um, like like you said, the staff identified him uh, because we were not sure what they were recruiting because uh, there was so many offers to DBs. And so I had to get clarification that he that Carolina was recruiting him as a linebacker and he's got great linebacker size. I mean, I, I've seen video clips of him and he 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 makes me think a lot of uh, Power Eccles at the same size frame and, and everything. But it, it's a plus that he plays DBs because linebackers have to go out in coverage too. So uh, it's some it's a I'm gonna call him a, a toy that Jay Bateman has in his in his toy chest. Uh, I can just see Jay Bateman's face getting a kid that he can just use all over the field. Well, he's got a pretty large toy chest that is growing in size, and he's got a lot of those kids that he can use multiple ways. They love the multiplicity aspect of the defense because it helps them disguise more. It helps them bring stuff from different places more. So a kid like Caldwell, being able to cover and be a linebacker is such a huge, huge thing. Uh, By the way, Carolina offered him on April 15th. He took an official uh, middle of June, started June 15th. So not too long ago, he had himself an official visit. Where else has he been in – and you've kind of sensed for a while, I mean, a lot of, we just got people, Dean and I discuss this stuff every day and uh, multiple times and text a lot. And you just kind of had a sense that, you know, if Carolina really wants this kid, that they could probably get this kid. A South Carolina kid, a lot of, a lot of South Carolina kids follow North Carolina, but we know that majority of them, the South Carolina kids, their dream offers are going to be Clemson and South Carolina. And with him being so close to Clemson, you know, it's, it's hard not to grow up wanting to play in Death Valley. And so the biggest question mark was he went on an unofficial to Clemson recently and just, you know, Dabo is really peculiar about, giving out offers and he hasn't got a Clemson offer. So he can't went to camp. He did really good there, but didn't come away with an offer. So I feel that that was looking at Carol, uh, looking at Deuce's offer list. I, I 
Carolina looks uh, the most Pretty attractive good. to me. You know, yeah. I mean, I'm not being biased, but look at some, look at some of them offers. The program has is going up and everything. Got a lot going on. That was the the biggest question. Would Clemson start showing interest? And Clemson starts showing interest. Of course, it it changes the ball game. But definitely a kid that was honored and just raved about getting that offer from UNC. And um, you know, I think Coach Thigpen is is big in 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 his recruitment and and everything. So. Um, He's he's finally made the choice, and he's going to be in Chapel Hill. To reiterate, some of the schools he chose Carolina over Ole Miss, West Virginia, which is a pretty good program. Ole Miss, pretty good program too. Baylor, kind of yo-yoing all over the place. Arkansas is trying to rebuild again. And Central Florida, one of the better group of five programs in the last five years or so. Uh, he actually, since Carolina offered April fifteenth, if I recall correctly, and tell me if you can think of any others, but West Point. Duke, Minnesota, and perhaps Arkansas, I think, offered since then. So, you know, he's, this isn't the Miami, Michigan, of, or, you know, Ohio State, Georgia, Clemson, which some of the other schools that Carolina has, has beaten out for guys. That's why it's very important when you look at this. Some people say, well, that's a Larry Fedora type situation. That's kind of kids he used to get. Well, it doesn't matter. People love to face, especially with the program growing so much now, I find that we're constantly reminding people, you need to trust what the staff has seen. The staff doesn't care about star ratings. They don't care about any of that stuff. If they identify someone they like, to them, he's a five-star in their mind. He's a four-star in their mind. And that's that's what people uh, should, should, should accept. They should embrace and accept that. And look, and you like Deuce. You just compared him to Power Eccles, who was a four-star kid. And, and he's and he's a multiple kind of kid. He could do a lot of different things. So I like this. And whether or not it leads to them getting Jaden Lucas shouldn't matter. And I don't think it's a factor. I don't think when you have a class of 14 kids, they're going to use a spot to hope it leads to getting another kid. They can't afford to do that. So this is a kid that they want on his own. If Jaden Lucas was not a teammate, I think they would still want to do Caldwell. When you have pros and veterans – like Sparky Woods and Daryl Moody and Kenny Brown, Browning that's seen every high major recruit there is in the Carolinas and been around pro players. Mac has surrounded him with a great advisory staff. And so they, they, they've they been very spot on on picking out some kids that may not have the – the, the stars in the rankings. And you mentioned uh, Coach Fedora. There's some pretty good players in the NFL that didn't have any uh, major stars uh, that just got drafted. So yeah. it doesn't matter. I, 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 fans get so into stars and rankings. And with me running the NC Prep sites, I get it asked every day. How can my son get ranked? How can he get stars? To me, it doesn't even – the coaches, they don't, they don't really pay attention. That. They, they, they identify a kid, and they go after him. They don't look at stars. We talked about this before. If that was the case, Mac Brown would have uh, 200 offers out to all the five stars and all the four stars. Yep. You got you to gotta see – kids that fit your system yep. and the defensive staff, Bateman, Thigpen, uh, uh, they, 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 they've identified Deuce and they like what they see and feel that he can really help them on defense when he gets there. Fit your system, fit your culture. By the way, many of Larry's better players were not four or five star kids. A lot of the fours didn't pan out for a variety. A lot of, of them reasons. were walk ons too. A lot of them were walk ons too. Walk on. They used to have those walk on U T shirts that those guys oh. would wear. Cole Holcomb's making quite a bit of cash. Mac at Collins, the next level, he, he was a walk on. Uh, he was a DB. Moved to linebacker. Everyone said he was undersized. What they're saying about Deuce Caldwell, so you never know. Deuce Caldwell, the latest 
Class of 22, commit to North Carolina, he is out of Malden, South Carolina, the number 10 overall prospect in the Palmetto State. He will be a Tar Heel. She is Dina King. I'm Andrew Jones. Thanks for stopping by.